Hi, in the continuation of last lecture, variation of Turing machine and its equivalence. Now we are going to learn multi-tape Turing machine and multi-track Turing machine. A multi-tape Turing machine, there are k number of tapes are there and k number of heads for reading the input symbols of k tapes. A k tape symbol can read up to k symbol and update b symbols and can decide the direction of each of the k heads independently of each other. As we know the Turing machine has these tuples where the transition function for multi tape Turing machine is Q cross tau K and Q cross tau which is a sigma union blank symbols left right and no move power K this is the transition function of multi tape Turing machine a multi tape Turing machine are similar to the single tape Turing machine that we have discussed so far but with some constant k number of independent tapes having their own read and write heads. These machines have independent control over all the heads and any of these can move and read and write their own tapes. The multi-tape Turing machine model intuitively seems to be much more powerful than single tape model. However, any multi-tape Turing machine, no matter how large the K may be, can be, sim can be simulated only by a single tape Turing machine. So as we can see, this multi-tape Turing machine has k number of a and the transition function would be in this way. There is another Turing machine, multi-track Turing machine. Here the track input would be a k number. As we have discussed, there is a single track, one dimensional tape Turing machine, but in the multi-track Turing machine, there will be k number of tracks or k dimensional Turing machine. But there would be only one head, one head read and writes on all tracks simultaneously. The transition function of multi-track tuning machine is Q cross tau power K, Q cross tau power K and move left, right and no move. Here we can see the difference between multi-tape tuning machines transition function and multi-track Turing machine transition function. There is another Turing machine is composite Turing machine where you combine a number of tapes and you get the output on particular input. For example, you have to calculate n square, particular number is square, n is the input for Turing machine n which read the Turing machine n value and make it square and update in the Turing machine n cross n and would be output as a n square. So this type of Turing machine is composite Turing machine. So these are the Turing machines which are equivalent to our, our Turing machines and on same input we can get a same output if the same algorithm the Turing machine is constructed. Thank you.